So again, we want to look at another example of a two-dimensional rigid body problem. Uh, so we have this kind of beam that is uh, being supported by a pin at A and by a uh, straight rod CD. Uh, so we have a pin at C and obviously a pin at D. And then we just have a 4 kN force acting at the end. The objective is to find the reactions at pin A and pin C and D. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is by looking at uh, the free body diagram, obviously. So let me draw a free body diagram of this for you. So let's say this is your beam. And obviously at A we have a pin, so we get two components of reaction, AX and AY. Remember, you can pick any direction you want, positive here. You clearly have this 4 kN force acting at this end. Let me put this in a different color. And what's happening at C? So the first uh, thing comes to your mind is C is just a pin. So I'm going to put a CX and a CY here. But you see there is a problem with this. The problem is that you have now four unknowns. AX, AY, CX, CY. And for a two-dimensional rigid body, you cannot have more than three unknowns because you only have three equations. If some of the forces in X equals zero, in Y equals zero, and moment equals zero. So this is not going to work. So let me get rid of this. So, and let me redraw this back for you here. So what's going on here? What's going on with CD? Now we notice that CD actually is a two force member. So the force has to act along the member, along CD, as you have seen in another uh, lesson. So I'm just going to show this as force acting from along CD. So this member is either in tension or compression. In this case, it turns out to be in compression. So I'm going to uh, say call this force in member CD pointing toward C. So any member, if the force points toward uh, that point, is that means compression. Now, this happens to be the correct uh, assumption. If I assume it's in tension and I show it the other way, I end up getting a negative answer. So now look, I can start with my moment equation and take moment about point A. Clearly, pin is a good point to take moment about. We take counterclockwise to be positive. So clearly, you could see that the, the angle here is 45 degrees because you have one and a half here and one and a half here. So this angle is 45. So uh, taking moment is very easy. There are two components of this guy the FCD, the Y component, and X component. X component is lined up with point A, so it doesn't have any moment. So only the uh, Y component, which is FCD sine 45, and we're going to multiply that by the moment arm, which is one and a half meters, and that's going counterclockwise, positive, right? So it's pointing up like that. And then four kilonewton times three meters going clockwise, so that's negative. Go ahead and solve for FCD, and FCD should be about 11.31 kilonewtons. Notice we get a positive answer to the direction is correct, which means the assumption was correct. So this member, in fact, is in compression. So now, we can go ahead and find the rest of the uh, reactions, AX and AY, by summing forces in X. And notice that uh, we had an AX. Now, going back, you see that the X component of FCD is pointing to the right, and that would be 11.31 cosine 45. So actually, if you don't do too much rounding off, this should become a negative 8, which means we were wrong about the direction of AX. So AX is 8 kN, but it's pointing to the left. And then finally, we can sum forces in the y direction and set it equal to zero. Let me go back to the last page. You see we have AY, this one. We have uh, a, uh, the y component of FCD and the 4 kN going down. So we have AY, we have 4 kN going down, and we have uh, the FCD sine 45, since FCD sine 45 
uh, put the FCD which is 11.31 here and this becomes actually 8 so AY actually happens to be negative 4 which again implies that we were wrong about the direction of AY so AY is 4 kN in fact pointing down so going back to this picture so we have find AX and AY here we know actually what CX and CY are and actually DX and DY should be the same as CX and CY so whatever you have here uh, you know the, 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 uh, uh, the reactions that we determined here you're gonna have exactly the same thing here so if all together the force in this member is 11.31 kilonewton roughly